If you're one of those people who can't wait to fly on an airplane again, well, first of all, congratulations on being basic. And second, you may be willing to wait just a little longer after seeing this. This morning, the FAA and Japan's Civil Aviation Bureau grounding all Boeing 777s with a specific Pratt & Whitney engine. As the NTSB investigates how this 777 engine fell apart in midair just after takeoff. 231 passengers aboard United 328 from Denver to Honolulu Saturday. That terrifying sight right outside their windows. Overnight, the NTSB saying two fan blades on the engine were fractured. You can see a broken fan blade in this image. On the ground, massive pieces of metal falling onto neighborhoods. Some running away, trying to avoid getting hit by pieces falling out of the sky. It almost landed on my head. This giant piece falling on Kirby Clements' lawn, crushing his truck. When well, I stood up and looked out the window, I go, oh no, that's the front end of an airplane. God damn! A giant piece of an airplane landing in your front yard? That's terrifying. I mean, on the other hand, how great is it to get something complimentary from an airline for once? Customer service is back, baby! Ah! And as terrifying as this moment was, what's really impressive is that someone was on a plane, saw the engine was on fire, and their first impulse was to take out their phone and record it. That's how addictive it is to go viral. Every single one of us will spend our last moments alive chasing retweets. I'm going down, but all my likes are going up. But at the same time, you're also on a plane. So, I mean, there's, there's really no other good way to spend your last few minutes on Earth. Oh, God, the plane is going down. The plane is going down. <laughs> Let me just load Croods too. <laughs> Seriously, though, it is hard to overstate how terrible this was. I mean, yeah, nobody got hurt, but the plane was headed to Honolulu, and instead, it had to land in Denver. Tell me that that's not a tragedy. Oh, and just by the way, it turns out that this wasn't even the only Boeing accident this week. Yeah. At this point, Boeing has such a terrible record that people won't even wait for something to go wrong before they say goodbye to their loved ones. Hey, man, I just want to say that I love you, and I'm grateful that you were my friend. Dude, what happened? Did you find out you have cancer? No, I just booked a flight on a Boeing. No! But let's move on now to the coronavirus pandemic. It's the reason all your sex dreams are now just about going out bowling. There's no question that things in the U.S. are moving in the right direction. More people are getting the vaccine, fewer people are getting infected, and our mask knee is finally starting to clear up. But at the same time, things are still very bad. And today, the country reached a grim milestone to remind all of us of that. The coronavirus and the pandemic's once unthinkable toll in the U.S., more than 500,000 lives lost in less than one year. <laughs> 